Hello everyone, I would like to introduce you to Marion County, West Virginia. It's in the middle of everywhere and full of history and fun, not to mention delicious food and beer. <laughs> At the end of each of our broadcasts, you will catch a video on a different part of this amazing town, which has made our coverage possible. Start your day off right with a locally brewed cup of coffee and a breakfast meal from Joe and Thoreau, where you can learn how to throw your own cup of coffee on their pottery wheels. Not only does this town have two exciting and challenging 18-hole disc golf courses in Morris Park, but a short drive away is a step back in time at Prickett's Fort, where they featured costume interpreters and demonstrations of colonial crafts. Make sure you stop by Summit Financial, which offers investment, retirement, and estate planning, life insurance, and long-term insurance. And after all that, enjoy a beer and dinner while listening to live music at the Rambling Route. We want to thank the Marion County Visitors Bureau and the Fairmont Flyers for inviting us out to cover this amazing event again this year. Now let's get the show started. Disc golf fans, welcome back to the back nine round three coverage of the Seth Burt Memorial Disc Golf Tournament. We're here in lovely Fairmont, West Virginia, playing Orange Crush. And I'm here joined, I'm Joshua Smith, and I'm here joined with my host, Fairway Phil Burton, the TD of the Seth Burt Memorial. Welcome back, disc golfers. The back nine Orange Crush is awesome. You're going to get a chance to see that here today. Yeah, it's very challenging yeah. indeed. And uh, anybody knows that, you know, you once you get to the back nine of Orange Crush, you got to dig in because it's it's it can be tough. Survival mode has to kick in. So, so here's the leaderboard for the round three back nine. Tyler Horn leading at minus twelve. Brad Schick and Corey Ellis are tied at minus ten, and Sam Lee not far behind minus five. Yeah, got the di the team Discraft card here. All four Discraft pros. Big shout out to Discraft for sending all their bros. <laughs> except for the except for Paul. He can come next year. All right, so par five to start off the back nine here. This one's a long one. It's long, it's downhill, it curves gently to the left. There's a lot of fairway, a lot of forgiveness. But if you can get a straight shot down through there and curve it back to the left a little bit, just you'd be in real good shape. Yeah, just look at this T area here. It's just like you're entering a whole new world when you come off this T pad. There's a substantial elevation change here. I don't know if you can spot it on film. Yeah. Tyler right in the middle. He, he won't be, he'll be all right from there, yeah. A lot of people they like to go with the mid-range here just to throw it straight and to miss that first big tree you see there on the left. If you can get by that and glide something down the fairway, oh, you'll, looks like he yeah. kicked, yeah. yeah. Right. Have it finished just around to the left, Heiser, mm -hmm. and you're in good shape for your second shot. Let's see what Brad's got in store for us here. Right. right down the middle, that's what you want. Miss that big tree. Oh, Brad. Picture perfect. Rolling right downtown. Oh, man. He'll be, he'll be all right from there. Here's Sam with his drive to start the back nine. Leash is a massive sidearm, a little high, doing some tree trimming, but he got down there a little bit. Yeah. Just a little left. It's a nice fairway down the middle here, and then to the left is cleared back another 60 or 70 feet. Uh, the underbrush is cleared, so it's kind of forgiving. We did a lot of work with the uh, weed eaters and brush hog on this hole, didn't we? Oh boy. Yeah. See, we. This park is over 100 years old, and you can see we cut this course right through the woods, saving all the large trees. Oh, yeah. Just taking mainly underbrush. Corey's gotten down there really well. He'll have a stab at uh, Eagle Butt there. Let's see what uh, Tyler can do. His second shot. Turn it a little more. Oh, yeah. Oh, Keep going. Well done. He'll be putting. Nice putt for Eagle there. Amazing. Wow. These guys are killing this mm -hmm. hole. Mm -hmm. Making it look easy. 
Brad, good little escape shot there, and he's right by the basket, too. That was his second shot. Mm -hmm. Here's Sam's second shot. Off the fairway a little bit, but it's a doable shot. Mm -hmm. Got through nicely. Oh yeah, he's right down there. And Corey wants this one. He's not taking any chances. He's getting good sights in on this one. There it oh, is. Beautiful. Nice eagle. eagle. Wow. Woo. Don't see many of those. Good job. Rod also wants in on some of that eagle action. He, he gets it. it. Nice. Two eagles in a row. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that'll brighten up your step a little bit. Sam's got that tree in his way, but he's looking for his eagle. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Have to settle for a tap in birdie. Yeah. <laughs> so we got Sam with his birdie. And Tyler. Tyler, Brad, and Corey all with eagles. Wow. On number 10. Making short work of that par five. That was a good job. Here we go. On to hole 11. This one's a tight little downhill all the way. I mean, I don't even know how many feet downhill this one is, but it's a good ways. And, uh, and big golly beyond the basket, and there's a golly on this side of the basket. Yeah, the best shot is straight, straight, straight. Straight, straight, straight. Mm -hmm. Tyler knows how to throw straight. Oh, yeah. Really good. Oh my. Pretty difficult par three here, but uh, if you can get down there, you got a chance at it. It looks like Tyler just made it look easy. Corey. Oh, you hit a tree there, kicked left. There are a lot of hazards mm -hmm. with the narrow fairway. Brad sneaking one down. If he misses Ooh. trees, he'll get there. Went behind oh, it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's really steep back there. Let's see if we can take a lefty's perspective here. Straight. Ooh. Kept fading left. Ah, kicked him. Right down his first golly. Yeah. So yeah. That's not too bad. Not too bad, yeah. Let's see, Corey's got his scrambling shoes on. And he's behind the short tee, so he's. A lot of work to do here. Throw it down. He's down, down low below the red baskets. He'll yeah. be throwing back up the hill. Yeah. yeah. There it was. He just looks like he just laid up. It's a three par. You got to work for your three mm -hmm. on this one. Oh yeah. See him making a nice bid. Oh, I hope that sits. Oh, it's really very steep back there. Yeah, he might have rolled. He might have stayed. I haven't seen too many stay on the side of that bank. Mm, no, it's steep. So steep. Brad's just laying up. He knows how treacherous that is. Yeah. Sam's probably going to take a, take a stab at this one. You can see down there, it's not quite steep, but there's a lot of... Brush. A lot of rough. Dogs. Yeah, yeah. Rocky terrain. That too. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually a creek that he's standing in. Yeah. Oh, oh. just outside. All right. The tree in the way may be able to get around it. This is for Corey's bogey. You got it. You made it. Okay. Yeah, good job, Corey. Sam also with a bogey. And Brad with the. And Tyler here for nice 
deuce. Hmm. Tyler's making some moves. He is, for sure. And Brad tapping in for his bar. So, two bogeys, one birdie, and a par. Yeah, Tyler's making a statement here, to pulling away at 15 under. Uh, Brad's a couple strokes behind him, three strokes behind him at 12. Corey at 11, and Sam hanging in there at 5 under. All right. Now we go on to... Old 12, yeah. So oh, this is an uphill shot here. Yeah. This whole nickname is the tutorial. He's just got to learn how to throw straight. Right up the gut. He went right into the woods there. Looks like he got a kick, yeah. There's a really nice fairway there just mm -hmm. to the right of that yeah. tree. Yeah, it looks like Brad's going to try to turn over some type of forehand up in the air. If he gets it. Oh, yeah, that's nice. He'll be up there. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Past uh, the red. He'll be looking right at the orange. Have a chance of bird. Corey's trying to, looks like, do the same shot here. Yeah, I mean, this hole's 291 uphill, but it plays every bit of probably 350 or 375 yeah. even, because you have to smash one to get up that far. And, and it curves around to the left. It's mm -hmm. not just a straight shot. Yeah. Sam, turn it over. A nice mid-range. Oh, that looks nice and piped. Oh, yeah, he's up there. Yeah. All right, Tyler's going to have to scramble a little bit here. Looks like he did so. He's, yeah, up, he's up on the dance floor. Out of the woods. Corey's got a little tight window there, but he might have a poke up to the basket. He does. Sure enough. Mm-hmm. Sam's going to try to go for this. Yeah, yeah. This is definitely a bonus birdie here if you get this one. You're, you're making moves on the group. Mm-hmm. Straight up and in. Oh, bounce that mm. out. Good try, Sam. That would have been... That was a definitely... I know you wanted that one. Brad, let's see if he can get his. Oh, this is for uh, oh, good birdie try there. He almost had it. Sam tapping in a par. And there's three par. Mm-hmm. So no change in the score that time. Yeah, Corey with a par as well. It's uh, one more tap out here from Tyler. Should be pretty routine. Yep. All right. Yep, yep. So, and Brad has to uh, tap out as well. All right, so that's hole 12. Everybody parted, so there'll yeah. be no change in the lead. Someone lit the barbecue. All right. Tyler's <laughs> still in first place. Hole 13 Shit. down. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hole th 13 down the hill. That's a steep downhill hole. This has got to be almost all the elevation you can get from <laughs> top to bottom. <laughs> Narrow fairway all the way with woods and dense underbrush on both sides. Yeah. You really want to keep it straight in the fairway, if at all possible. And the basket fades out to the left at the end. Tyler got a good kick. He should finish left still. Yeah. Yeah. He'll be. Uh, yeah, he'll be. On, he'll be on the green. Yeah. Distant green, but. <laughs> He's on the green. All right, here's Brad. A nice touch flick here. Oh. And he's still got a considerable ways down there. He should be able to get his par pretty easy. Oh, Corey hitting one of the first trees. He didn't like that. All right, Sam making his mind up on a shot. Looks like he's going for a turnover with the mid-range. got these uh, outdoor carpet uh, tee pads out there with a rubber mat base makes a real good grip really grippy all yeah. year round any conditions it's uh, 
everybody was happy with yeah, yeah. happy with those. Yeah, it worked out well. Alright. Sam's got some work to do here. Get around it. He did. Oh yes. He's gonna be down there looking for a putt for a par. Francis, for a disc here. Yeah, Corey looks like he's lining up some kind of tomahawk or upside down pancake shot. Hmm. Looks like he got out of there. Yeah, no, maybe just a little out of the fire and into the frying pan there. He's going to try another little trick shot, a little sidearm around all the stuff here. Get around. Oh, he got a kick. Yeah, that'll be a long, he'll have a long putt there for his bogey. Tree to tree. Mm -hmm. Here's Brad, he's got a long ways to go down that bank yet. He's got a chance to get there and be creative. He's right beside the short tee. Yeah, yeah. So this is beautiful Morris Park here in Pleasant Valley, Fairmont, West Virginia. This park's over 100 years old. And you can see the size of some of these trees. They've just been around for many, many, many decades. Yeah. Brad making nice work of those trees by going with the roller. Oh. Went around a lot of them. That was good. He looks like he's putting here for his bogey. And he's pretty safe there, though. <clears throat> All right, Sam. He's got a look. Good yeah. bit of distance in yeah. downhill as well. Not a gimme. No. no. Yeah, you get her next time. Yeah, yeah. So here's Tyler looking for a hell of a shot here. It's a little downhill steep. He's on the side of a bank there, as you can see. Oh, oh almost. So close. He rode across the top of the basket. Mm -hmm. You're saying for his bogey. Okay. On hole 13. Corey just tapped out his double bogey. Tyler with the three. And Brad with the three. Yep. All right. All right, move on to 14 now. Yeah, Tyler maintaining his lead, and here we go. 14 is uh, back up the hill. 13 was the dis descent, and 14 is nicknamed the ascent. And uh, we did a lot of work here to cut out some of these low-hanging branches to give them a shot. Uh, they just got to you gotta just execute and get through it first. He, he did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fine. It'll be fine. Be able to get yeah. a three. This is <clears throat> very difficult par three. Very narrow in the beginning. It does widen out if you can get oh. a few hundred feet down there. Looks like Brad took a kick off a branch. But in this first hundred feet or so, you do not want to get off the fairway. Oh, yeah. Sam oh, keeping excellent. it. Excellent. Yeah. Good job, Sam. Right in the middle. Looks like Corey has a buzz here. Initially, you go downhill here for a little while until a golly, and then you head up very steeply. Straight up, yep. Uh, these guys should be. That'd be fine there. Oh, uh, here. Oh, uh, he, yeah. Brad's in he the bottom. In early. Yep. He's got a lot of work to do here. Yeah, you're thinking four at best from that scramble there, yeah. That's pretty good. Pretty good up here, yeah. The situation. And here's. Definitely wants to get on the green with this shot. It's the doable. Oh, looks like he got clipped down. It's Corey, I think it's his third. Second. Yeah, he wants to get up over that red basket, and the orange basket is tucked up to the left up the hill there. About 75 feet past. He's gonna be short. Short, yep. Yeah. See if Sam has a better chance of getting up there. Looks all right. Mm -hmm. He'll hit a tree, but he'll be on the green. Mm -hmm. he'll have a probably 30, 40 footer. Be my guess. Tyler can do here. 
it up there, a little past it, but he should be all right. Yeah, Brad, he scrambles. He should be right there. Corey's still trying to make his way up to the basket. Yeah. Difficult. Difficult. Oh, for our lead card today. Yeah, yeah. No, he, didn't, he didn't, right out of his hand, he didn't like that one. So let's see what Sam can do here. Let's see the basket there. He's got to look, yeah. Yeah. A little reset, changing his footing. Maybe the only par. Oh, yeah. he gets shut down too. Mm. So we've got two bogeys so far. Yeah. Brad missing his. Oh, man. That'll be a triple bogey for Brad. It's a rare one out of Brad. He looked like he rushed that a little bit. Here's Corey. Uh, Corey. For his bogey. He tap got that. So we had three bogeys on this hole and one triple bogey. Yeah. It's playing very challenging, difficult. Today. Yeah, yeah. So here we go, hole 15. It's uh, up the hill and then a dog leg left down the hill. Uh, very tight, lots of trees. Um, There's a road high right, which doesn't come into play too often. Yeah, not too often, right? Uh, to the left and right of the fairway is dense. Yeah. Good flex right to left shot here on the backhand for a righty is a, is a good play. Oh, and Tyler hit the first tree. Kicked him a little right. So there's a landing area up there past those trees, and then you, you go downhill a bit from there. So it's uphill and then downhill. All right, Sam with a good-looking sidearm. Made the turn. We are oh, right there on the left edge. Very good. Corey's going to want to get all he can out of this one. Get up and around that bend. You can get a three on this with a couple good yeah, shots. Yeah, man. There it is, up high. Got some distance out of that one. Brad going to try to flip a forehand over here, it looks like. Oh, yeah. He, huh? Mm, he got through it. Wow, oh, chopped boy. right through. Yeah. Wow. Good I positioning. Really did that. that was a, <laughs> that was a magic, <laughs> magic trick. Had to show me that one, Brad. Corey, on a second. This looks really dense down through there, but there's several gaps that yeah. you can get through that. Yeah, yeah. With a good shot. Yeah, Corey throwing straight. Looks like he managed to do yeah, it. Yeah, he's getting there. Good job, Look Corey. Look at that. Wow. Looking right at it. Looks like Sam's going to take the wide route, maybe. Or come from the uh, outside in. The turnover forehand. He does. Oh. Wow. Yeah, I want that one back. All right. Tyler also with the scramble sidearm. Let's see where that one landed. It looked like it was heading towards the basket, mm -hmm. though. His third shot here. Yeah, yeah. Good layup here. You can still take a par. Oh, yeah. yeah He's right there yep, on the dance floor yep, now. Yep, he'll have a putt. Right with a nice drive, and he's sneaking up. Look at this. Whoa. Yeah, he'll be, he'll right. be putting for his bird. He will be. So Tyler ended up on his, uh, just laying up. Smart thing to do. A lot of drop off there. If you miss that putt, and it goes, it can just keep sliding down that hill. Yes. This is a steep right to left fall. 
All Got right. it. So we finished up with a par on that. Way to go, Sam. Good job, Sam. Ooh, oh. Brad knew it as soon as he let it go. So he's going to have to be happy with it. Par on that. Corey oh. got the birdie. Nice job, Corey. Yeah. Getting one back. Three pars and a birdie on. Yeah. Once he taps in, okay. I'm Number 15. Number 15. Leaderboard's still changing. We still have Brad and, I'm sorry, Tyler uh, leading at number 14, but now Corey and Brad are uh, tied for second place at nine under. Yes. 16 down the hill here, man. It's a nice little tunnel shot, and if you can get it to fade left at the end, uh, you're going to be partying. And going from this mode area here down through a narrow fairway, trees and a gully on one side, you just don't want to... Uh, yeah, it's got a little wide on him. He's going to... Oh, he got, uh, he got... He trinkled through there. Yeah, yeah. Actually, not in bad shape. Yeah, wow. <laughs> I don't know how he did that one, but... Yeah, so you're actually throwing across the park road here. Uh, pretty steep tee pad here. It's very challenging. Oh, we kicked him the right way. Yeah. You want to just go down there and then turn to the left right towards the end. That That's a perfect shot. Yeah, if you kick real far left, you're going to be in trouble. There's some real bad woods in that creek. Kind of high. I hit a tree. Oh, you're going to hit early, yeah. Down there by the short tee pad. Ways to go. Good shot by Brad. Mm-hmm. Oh, he went down into that creek, but he got down deep enough that he might be able to scramble out. <laughs> yeah. He misses those trees. Sam should get there as well. That looked good. As y'all can see, this is some challenging disc golf here in Orange Crush at the Seth Burton Memorial Disc Golf Course Complex. Oh, yeah. Well, the nice thing about it, Josh, we haven't mentioned, it's just a couple minutes off of Interstate 79. So oh, yeah. We, a lot of, we find a lot of people that stop in their travels yeah. and throw a round or two. Yeah, when you're in Marion County there, you're in the center of everywhere, too, aren't you? Center of everywhere. <laughs> Oh, he's way off the fairway there on the high side. Yeah. He's putting straight down a hill. He's just going to want to scramble and just get out there for a, for a tap in. Hopefully he's uh, taking a good look at this one here. Probably just going to lay up and hopefully take a three. But yeah, uh, we'll see. That's a tough, tough hillside to scramble on, too. It is. Too. You can't get a good place to stand because mm -hmm. it's so steep. Yeah, he's struggling with that. Mm -hmm. If he can just drop one down there by the basket, he can still go home with the par. Yeah. Looks he's like good. It. Yeah, he's, he's right, right below there. the basket in the creek bed there. Yep. Here we go, Tyler. You know, he's got a lot on his mind here. He's he could he could advance his lead even more with a birdie here, or uh, see how he responds. Oh, just a little off. So that's going to put him a one over now if he, oh, if he yeah, can make that's that right. short that, putt. That was his par putt, wasn't it? Yeah. All right, Corey, looking like a chance at the only birdie. From the creek there. Probably six or eight feet of elevation change there. Yeah. Makes it a little difficult. Oh, good try. He's going to have to settle for his par on that. Okay, Sam from down in the creek. Looking to get some good footing. He's got too much water running in the creek right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. There is many, many times in the year. <laughs> Looks like he's comfortable now. He should. Really not a long putt at nah. all. Yeah, he's probably 15 he feet. this one. Yeah. Oh, oh a little Sam. short. Mm. Okay, so he's going to take the bogey on that. Yeah. Tyler for his boat. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, Brad putting for his three. Yes, for his birdie, yeah. No, or par, yeah. 
He has par. Yeah. All right. So how do we get there? Two pars and yeah. Uh, Corey and Brad with pars. Tyler with the bogey and Sam with the yeah. bogey. So here's 17, a nice uphill from the long tee, then a dog leg left, as you can see. The orange basket is stretched out to the left. And it's right there, yeah. There's a lot of landing area once you throw up this hill here from the long tee pad. Big landing area if you can just get it through up through straight up through there. Yeah, big arms love this hole because they can get throw up that hillside and even get some more distance with the fade left towards the basket. And Corey kicked went a little left there. I don't think that's what he wanted. Brad taking a conventional sidearm, very safe shot. Yes. The backhand you got to commit to it and keep that disc moving and turn in the right direction, or it can quickly throw you left. Tyler, looks like he might have kicked left too. We'll see how they him and Corey ended up. This is a very close match with the Tyler in the lead, of course, but Brad and Corey are tied for second still mm -hmm. here in the third round of the Seth Burton Memorial. Yeah, yeah. This is the final nine. Yeah, the final nine will be coming, uh, coming up here shortly too. And that'll be for the top four pros in the tournament. Top four pros, the lead car. Mm -hmm. Played nine holes of a blended Seth Burton course, an Orange Crush course. Yeah. Uh, the blended final nine, very popular. Oh, well, yes. Yeah, you guys definitely want to stick around for that. So here's uh, Tyler on his upshot here. This is a par four, so you got some room to scramble. He gets out very nicely. It's going to. I don't know if he'll get the birdie, but he'll have a chance, an easy, easy par from there. Brad, he's getting down there. He's on the dance floor too. He'll be putting for Bird. You're saying looks like he's kind of in the in jail there. Yeah, he's gonna have to get creative. Nice little flick. Feet, ah, oh, kicked right. Hit a tree, I think. Kicked right. So. Corey's trying to get sneaky too. Looks like he's going to go down through a tunnel and try to pop out on the green. Oh yeah, he's out there. He'll have a, he'll have a long look for his bird. Almost. Good try, Corey, yeah. Sam as well, he's got a long shot for his bird, but he's probably about 35, I'd say. Mm -hmm. See if he jumps or not. Got that red bush in his way there. Oh, just to the side of it. He's gonna have to settle for a par on this. All right, Tyler. His bird. Oh, he got it. Yeah, he got it. Wow, got it. amazing. Great play, Tyler. Brad as well with a good shot. Yeah, so Brad ends up at uh, minus one as well. Two birdies. Uh, Sam had a par, and Corey's plus one on this hole. Yeah, Sam's putting for his par putt right here. It's definitely within his range. Just slightly uphill. You got it. Nice par for Sam. Yeah. Corey. Corey's tapping in for his bo bogey. Mm -hmm. All right, we got one bogey. Corey with, and then Sam with a par. There we go. So Tyler's four-stroke lead over Brad in second place at 10 under, and Corey at eight under. We're on hole 18. It's up another par five, one of two from the long course here, and uh, just opened up that middle route here for side arms in the last couple of years, didn't we? You can see there's an island and the trees in the middle. You can yeah. go to the right or left. Mm -hmm. But you basically need to go long and straight to 
elevation falls off to the left a little bit and very far left there is a road and dense trees but Tyler throwing that well oh, he's right really there, good. Yeah, right down the tunnel oh yeah he'll have a look to get to advance all right Sam's gonna throw a backhand right down that alleyway Throws a laser beam. Oh, a little high. <clears throat> kind of kicked him. Changed the flight of his disc a little bit. Corey going to also go for that popular sidearm route. Executed well. Oh, he hit a tree at the end. He'll be by the short T pad there. Brad's a little far back, about 40 feet behind the short T, so he'll have some work to do here. This is for his second shot. Yeah. A little up on a little right, but he'll he'll be able to scramble from there. Corey's right on the short tee. His second shot. Right down the tight gap. Pretty good. All the way down. And Brad with an unfortunate kick down left of the fairway. I have to look back on the score, but I believe Corey tooed this hole in the first round on a crush right. with a throw in from about 300 feet or 250 feet. Uh, I so. He does yeah. well on this hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tyler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Same for his upshot. Trying to get on the green down there. It's a nice green. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of bends around to the right there, so he's going to try to ante it all the way. And an excellent shot. Yeah, he'll be down there. I like that. Oh, he made that shot. That's awesome for a birdie. Way to go, wow. Sam. Good shot, Sam. It was way out. Is that Corey? That's Corey up yeah. there. He's actually shooting for his eagle, putting for his eagle. Wow, yeah. If he can find a place to stand. It's, it's a downhill putt right through the, the mm -hmm. that brush there. But not a long putt. Mm -hmm. Makeable putt for sure. Oh, he gets he did it. it. Nice eagle. Way to finish up. Strong for finish Brad. by Corey. Yeah. Here comes Brad for his tap in. Tap in par. Yep, yeah, he made it so. And with this putt here, with this birdie putt, Tyler Horn just tied the course record set by Chris Dickerson last year at 56. Whoa. So good job, Tyler. So Tyler's our leader here at 15 under, a two way tie at 10 under between Corey Ellis and Brad Schick, and then. Sam's there at three under, and uh, that will be uh, the conclusion of our yeah. back nine yeah, our back on the Orange Crush course for our third round Sunday morning. Yeah. You want to be sure and stay tuned for the final nine, which will be the top four pros will play a blended round on the half on each course. There's Tyler. Good job, Tyler, shooting the course record on Orange Crush. Great job to all our players out there. So, uh, yeah, the final nine is going to be a battle. Uh, we'll see who takes it home after, uh, you know, nine more holes on a blended. Uh, front nine, Seth Burton, one through five, long to long. Orange Crush, 15 through 18, long to long. And the final nine after that will conclude the, the tournament. So. so you want to be sure and stay tuned for the yeah. final nine. And until then, keep, keep banging, banging those chains. chains. My name is Judy Wilson. 
Uh, I've been working at Prickett's Ford a very long, happy time. My position here is that of interpreter of history. I'm able to do just about anything that a woman 250 years ago would do out here on the Virginia frontier. Uh, from hearth cooking, although that's not my specialty, uh, to the textile work of uh, fibers through finished cloth through garments. Our presentation here is in the style of living history, which is why we're all dressed normally. We consider our visitors oddly dressed, you see, uh, because this is the way our world is, and we hope that when they come, they feel like they're breathing 18th century air. My name is Israel Rollison, and I am the blacksmith here at the Bray Blacksmith Shop. I'm a general blacksmith and toolsmith, so I make all the general tools and needs that you would have seen in the 18th century. What I illustrate here is mostly just the general blacksmith, somebody who's good at making a lot of things, you know, maybe candlesticks or uh, rush lights or spatulas, roasting forks, axe heads, chisels, that kind of thing. Um, but there were other guys who they made guns and that's what they did, or they made locks and that's what they did, or even the nail maker. The tools here are also accurate and so real that they will feel they've stepped back in time. I enjoy the fact uh, that I work with folks who are devoted to keeping things fresh. Our research never stops, and those of us you visit with do a good bit of the research. Uh, and I feel that if folks truly understand where they have come from, they better understand who they are and perhaps even where they're going. And to me, that's what's important. Well, we would hope that you would come see us at the fort. Um, we love meeting new people. I learn things personally. I learn things from our visitors. And I'd love to have you come and let me learn something from you. And perhaps I can teach you some things uh, that you'll enjoy later on.